Well then, good morning, Fak. Um, been reading in Devarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 18, and I'll read this to you. And so, um, verse, 60, verse 16, chapter 18, verse 16 says, According to all that you asked the Lord your God in mm -hmm. Horeb mm -hmm. on the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not continue to hear the word of the Lord my God, and let me no longer see this great fire so that I will not die. And the Lord said unto me, They have done well in what they have spoken. I will set up a prophet for them among their brothers, like you, and I will put my words into his mouth, and he will speak to them all that I commanded them. So we need to see something very important here. <clears throat> this prophet that Hashem will put in front of us, will not speak his own words, but will speak the words of Hashem. And the words of Hashem that Hashem has put into the Torah, the 613 mitzvah, uh, he will not change them because Hashem is a God who does not change. He remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it continues to say, and it will be, that whoever does not hearken unto my words, see, he doesn't say unto the prophet's words, unto my words, that he speaks in my name. Uh, I will exact it of him. So let's just have a look at who this prophet might be. If we look at um, Yeshua HaMashiach, who came and uh, came for our salvation, and we read in the book of Yochanan John in the Brit Hadassah, chapter 12 and verse 49, it says, <clears throat> For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whoever, whosoever I speak, therefore, Okay, let me try that again. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. And so we see that this verse in Deuteronomy cross-references with the verse in Yochanan. And we must understand that Yeshua came to bring us salvation, came to bring us life, came to... To bring us the good things that Hashem has already preordained. And so the entire word of Hashem com um, corresponds and parallels and works together to bring us life. And so I want to encourage you today that if you want to connect with Hashem, uh, so I'm going to go into this now. So the word mitzvah of which there are 613, um, is the word commandment. And its root word, its, its origin comes from the word sevet. And sevet means to connect. And so when we abide and listen to his commandments and, and walk and work according to them, we connect with him. I encourage you today that we're going into the new year, uh, the Gregorian new year, because we know that the uh, new year for Hashem starts on the 1st of Nisan. First month of the year is Nisan. Um, <clears throat> but be that as it may, uh, every day we need to seek and serve Him. We need to seek His will and serve Him. Bless His holy name. So I encourage you that in this year coming, get your Bible, uh, begin to seek His face, begin to seek His desire, begin to walk according to His plan. And um, stop, stop davening, stop praying for the things that you want out of your own desire, but begin to seek His will and begin to come in line with His will. Mit palal, mit palal, come in line with His will. And so I encourage you today again, seek his face, bless his name, worship him. Um, and if you have any queries or, 
or if you desire to know anything um, concerning the word, seek out someone who has a spiritual understanding of how the word fits together. Um, a lot of the um, a lot of the traditional uh, Christian folk <clears throat> have this belief that God changed somewhere along the line, uh, became this God of grace when He used to be a a God of law, um, and it's a traditional mm -hmm. thought, but it it has nothing to do with the way that Hashem has preordained us. So. Um, May Hashem bless you and keep you, and may He make His face to shine upon you and give you His peace. Shalom, shalom.